Well, my younger brother, back in 1979, showed me a Radio Shack TRS-80 and told me about this little company that nobody ever heard of that's going to be famous one day called Apple Computer. And I thought, you know, he might be right. And boom, I built a word processor for it called Word Handler, which became a bestseller. I, I think I was born as a visionary. And that's a gift and a curse. It's a curse because you're always too early. You're thinking of things before the world is ready for them. When I first thought of the MP3 player, it was 1994. People were using Dow. The record companies in the music industry were very much afraid of this innovation. It wasn't until 2003 that the world was ready to accept it. So I guess when I wake up every morning, I'm thinking about crazy new things I want to do. Today, these days, they're more in sustainability, health, things that can make people lead a better, more comfortable life. You know, what I was saying, what I will say, is these students here, I'm, I'm the person of the past. All these students are the people of the future. Some of these people in this audience are going to be the next people that change the world. We don't know who they are, but you know, every one of them has the capability. It's up to them to decide whether or not it's for them. But I'm here to help maybe bring that out because there's some very special people sitting here today. I want to say I live here in Mexico. I love Mexico. Viva Mexico!